John, thank you. We moved the national headlines for you this morning at 720, a developing story out of Houston, Texas. TMZ is reporting rapper Takeoff, a member of Migos, is dead. The 28-year-old was reportedly shot to death at a bowling alley in Houston at around 2.30 this morning. TMZ says Takeoff was there with Quavo, another member of Migos. Sources say someone started shooting after a fight broke out. Takeoff was pronounced dead at the scene. Two other people went to a hospital in private cars. This is the book of Proverbs chapter 11 and verse 4. Riches profit not in the day of wrath, but righteousness delivereth from death. This is the camp prophets in Babylon. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. I'm the brother of Shar. Next to me I have... Brother Daniel Allah. Salutations to the hopeful elect that scattered among the four corners of the earth. In this lesson, we want to talk about a rapper that just recently died. Okay? At the beginning, I had a clip that we'll put so you can get the information of when he died and what happened. All right? And also, to add on to that, a lot of people are saying he's a legend. Okay? But... He made a got a nice status. He made a got a lot of money and women and fame and glory in this wicked society. But that didn't help him. All right, to protect him from his death, the Most High killeth and make alive, according to Deuteronomy chapter thirty-two and verse thirty-nine. Okay, so no matter what, you won't be delivered. You won't be saved if you're not what following righteousness. God. And how do you follow righteousness by following these scriptures? Because these scriptures is instructions to white righteousness. God, and as the scripture says in John 17, 17, sanctify them through thy truth, that word is truth. You know? Mm -hmm. So that's the only way you can be cleansed. Mm -hmm. So, uh, um, you know? And yeah. and also it says, wherewithal shall a young man cleanse his way? God, that's the spirit. Gives by, by giving heed to the word. That's right. It's Psalms 119 and 9. Mm -hmm. and, and I don't know what age he died at. I think it was like 27 or something like that. Uh, 28. 28, you know? Well, you know, he's still kind of young. You know what I'm saying? You know, because if most people live to like 60 or something. So halfway, you know, this man di didn't even make it to 60 or to live an old age. So if he didn't, if he took heed to the word, it would have helped him, you know, be preserved. But guess what? The most I had no use for him because this truth been going out by the prophets. All right. So now there's no excuse to not follow righteousness. And this is for you so-called Negroes, Latinos and Native Americans, man. You have no excuse no more. So now when people are put to death, we know why. And even these celebrities been saying that we are of the 12 tribes of Israel. We have Kanye speaking out. Uh, they were talking about Ice Cube before, but Ice Cube backed down. And now we have these ball players and stuff talking about it. I forgot the one ball player name. You know, if you know the one that was spoke out to. Uh, 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 Kyrie Irving. Kyrie Irving. So, you know, there's famous celebrities and stuff that's speaking out, but... Their riches and their fame and glory and things like that will not save them when it's their time to be judged, man. All right. And everybody's going to be judged according to their works. So if you reap and sow wickedness, you know, uh, take off been rapping about adultery, you know, sleeping with other men's wives. All right. About smoking weed. All right. All these wicked things that's adverse to the scriptures. That means you're going to be put to death by the righteous judge, which is Yahweh Shemel Shah. He's the only judge, too. And he's he's one greatly to be feared. All right. Going back to Proverbs chapter 11 and verse four, it says riches profit not in the day of wrath. Mm -hmm. And the most High is angry with our, with our people, man. All right. That, and that's an example of his anger right there. He unleashed his fury upon this man. All right. With his spirits that was created for vengeance. God. And they took him out. That's right. That's right. I got a priest up on that after you done. All right. It says, but righteousness delivereth from death. Mm -hmm. And that's the only way you can be saved and preserved. Is if you're following these law, statutes, and commandments the best of your ability. If you're serving Yahweh Shemesh with truth and sincerity, and you have to know His names, all right, Yahweh and Yahweh Shah. That's right. That's what it starts with, and it starts with the fear. That's the instruction of wisdom. Con. Mm -hmm. And if you fear the Lord, you will call upon those names. Mm -hmm. Those names, all right, because everyone knows, you know, what I'm saying like they don't fear the Lord, uh, like the way they should. You know what I'm saying? We must fear the Lord because that's the beginning of all things. You know? Mm -hmm. And if you fear the most high, you'll, you'll follow righteousness and you pursue it. Go right. ahead. So I got a precept that um, that goes well with what he brought out from from Proverbs 11 to 4. This is the book of uh, Deuteronomy chapter 10 verse 17. For Yahweh, your power is God of gods and Lord of lords, a great power, a mighty and a terrible 
which regardeth not persons, nor taketh reward. So, so riches will not profit you when it comes to the judgment of the Lord. Because the Lord just said, he's no respecter of persons, which means, which, uh, uh, so, so it says, which regardeth not, not persons, nor taketh reward. So he don't care who you are. He don't care who you are, whether you're a, 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 a very rich celebrity to the poorest man on earth. He don't care who you are. He, he's, he's no respecter of persons and he, and he doesn't take any bribes. You know, he doesn't care how rich you are. That's nothing. That That's his stuff. He's the one who created on uh, 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 the currency and the money and everything. He's the one who created all things. So you can't bribe him. You can't uh, uh, you can't give him anything because he's the one who created it. God. And I got to preach upon that. And to add to the scripture, it says that Yahweh Shemesh is God of gods. All right. Mm -hmm. Power of power. So there's no other God that you can serve and worship that will deliver you. All right. From Yahweh Shemesh Shai. Mm -hmm. And I got this uh, precept. It's Joshua chapter 24 and verse 14. Now, therefore, fear Yahweh Shemesh Shai. So with that precept that was brought out before this one. You know, it shows you that Yahweh Shem El Shai has that omnipotent power, man. That's right. There's no one that's above Yahweh Shem El Shai. Mm -hmm. It says, and serve him in sincerity and in truth. So there's two ways to serve him. That's in righteousness, man. That's not being full of deceit, fraud, lies, all that wickedness that Esau Edom pushes to our people, man. All right. It says, and put away the gods which your fathers served on the other side of the flood and in Egypt. And serve ye Yahweh Hashem El Shaddai. So put away all the other gods, man. Mentioned in the in the book, the false gods, you know that people serve all throughout all the lands of the captivity we went through. We went into many captivities, and our people partake in the ways and customs of the heathen. That's right. And the example is Halloween, man. Mm -hmm. We have people, you know, partaking those rituals, doing that trick or treating. All right. And if you look up the roots of that holiday, it goes into you know. A wicked type of uh, ritual, man. Come. You know, we did a class on it before. That's right. And one of the brothers recently posted, uh, posted uh, on Instagram that uh, it was, it's been a, it's been it's been a shooting in Chicago at a at a um, a party at a party, and uh, and a lot of people got hurt, and uh, and and a lot of uh, like probably like more than a dozen people died as well. Mm hmm. And also, when I was watching uh, some of those um, news on this man's death, you know, Takeoff's death, they was talking about uh, he was celebrating his birthday. You know, that's what I overheard, okay, on one of their posts that they did on social media. So if that's true, then that's one of the satanic holidays, one of their highest, you know, holidays to celebrate your own birth. All right, self-worship. So you, if you serve other gods, man, you're going to be put to death, man. Okay. Nobody dies innocent, man. The Most High is righteous in his, all his doings. And verse 15 goes to it as well. Continue, it says, And if it seem evil unto you to serve Yahweh Shemel Shai, so now that you know who Yahweh Shemel Shai is, if you think he's evil and it's wrong to do it, all right, it says, Choose you this day which you which ye will serve, whether the gods which your father served that were on the other side of the flood, or the gods of the Amorites in whose land ye dwell, but as for me and my house, we will serve Yahweh Shem El Shai. So that's telling you to make a decision, man. And if you make a decision to be like these other celebrities and stars that you see, you know, they're serving all these false gods, they're serving Satan, then that means you're going to follow that type of lifestyle and you're going to die, man, in your own sins. You got anything um, to add on that? I caught a one, you know. You know, like I said, you know, like the most high respect the persons, and let me grab it from the New Testament. Because right, we grabbed it from the Old Testament in Deuteronomy 10, 17. But the, here's another one. Romans chapter 2, verse 11. For there is no respect of persons with the Most High. You know, like I said, he, he doesn't care what status you are in this society or in this world. He doesn't care how rich you are. He's going to, if he don't, if, uh, if he sees that you're wicked, he's going to take you out, man. If he sees you're not going to serve him, he's going to take you out. He's going to take you out, man. Verse 12. For as many as have sinned without law shall also perish without law. And as many have sinned in the law shall be judged by the law. So whether, you know, so it says, For as many as have sinned without law shall also perish without the law. 
So those who don't even keep the law statutes, uh, uh, those who don't even keep the law statutes and commandments, you know, they're going to perish. They're going to perish without the law. All right. So those who who don't who, like uh, who don't even acknowledge the Lord, who don't even consider the Lord, by by rehearsing the righteous acts of the law statutes and commandments, because that shows your faith that you care about the Lord, you know, and you consider the Lord, man. Whether in, in prosperity or adversity. But Jake doesn't like to suffer in righteousness. They would rather live a, 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 um, a fast life and, and do whatever they want to do. And, and then whatever happens, happens. And that's the, uh, the majority of a lot of the mindsets of the people of the world, man. Mm -hmm. Con, and also it takes faith to even believe that this way is the righteous way, man. You have to believe. You have to hear the words. And you have to apply it in your life. You're not just hearers, but doers as well. And I got a precept. Con, this con, oh, oh, yeah. Go I, ahead. I got that too. Okay, go ahead. Verse 13. For not the hearers of the law are just before the Most High, but the doers of the law shall be justified. Con, and that takes faith, man. You have to believe that this is the right way, man, to everlasting life. Because there's only one way, one truth, and one life. You know, and it's through Yahweh Shai. If you follow all these other gods and these other ways of living, trying to make it here on this earth you know this wicked society if you try to sell out and go to hollywood be a celebrity and be praised by all these people you will die a gruesome death man you know you're going to be highlighted just like takeoff he was highlighted man all right all of his fame all the way to a 28 second news clip about him being put to death man that's crazy man he died at 28 years old and, and, and the news clip was 28 seconds <laughs> come on so it shows you, like, first off, these, these Edomites don't even care about you, man. Yeah. They don't give a damn. They put seconds. It wasn't even a minute. Con, his life was seconds. Mm -hmm. Seconds to them. Mm -hmm. So 28 seconds of, uh, of his death being on the screen, and then they move on. Mm -hmm. And they're the ones that he sold out to, man. He sold out to them, man. So these Edomites, you might sold out. They might make it seem all nice and good, but guess what? You will surely die, man, if you follow their ways. You know, their ways is lead you to death. I got a precept, though. This is the book of Romans, chapter 10 and verse 17. It says, So then faith cometh by hearing, and hearing by the word of Yahweh Shem El Shai. So that's why we go out. We have a job to do. We're doing these lessons. You know, brothers reading the scriptures and the words of the Heavenly Father. So that way, our people can be sealed and they'll receive faith, man. Because it starts with faith. You have to believe. And that's how you please Yahweh Shem El Shai. Without faith, it's impossible to please Yahweh Shem El Shai. Verse 18 says, But I say... Have they not heard? Yes, verily, their sound went into all the earth and their words onto the ends of the world. And that's the prophets doing the work of Yahweh Shemel Shai. We're bringing it out. We're speaking it. We're going on the highways and hedges. We're going into the chief place of concourse. Or we're at the marketplaces. All right. Speaking the words of the Heavenly Father and telling all people to repent and come back to who they are. So that means there's no excuse to say that you didn't hear that you was a Hebrew Israelite. All right. From wherever tribe you uh, consist of, you know, if you can understand this word, man. We have plenty of celebrities already speaking about this. So now there's no cloak for their sins, man. You're going to perish in your own sin, man. For the wages of sin is death. So if you reject Yahweh Shem El you will be put to death, man. And it's plain and simple, you know. And I got one more precept if that's cool with you. This is the book of Matthew chapter 16 and verse 26. It says, for what is a man profited? If he shall gain the whole world and lose his own soul. That's right. So, you know, you know, um, if you gain the world and, and if you gain this world, man, if you love the world, according to First John 2, 15, man, it's a love, not the world. Neither are the things that are in the world. But if you do the opposite, man, you know what I'm saying? You're going to lose your soul. You're not going to care about the Lord if you got a million dollars in your savings account. You're not going to care about the Lord if you got everything that you have on this side. Let's be real, man. In the end. And that goes for every single individual here on earth, man. You're not gonna you're not gonna think about the Lord. You're gonna go on with your life and you're gonna live your life. Just like how takeoff did it, man. You're gonna live your life, you're gonna do whatever you wanna do. You're gonna go to the uh, mall and buy some nice clothes, you know what I'm saying? You know, you're gonna do everything under the sun, man. You're gonna do everything, man. And you're not gonna be that's why the Lord only gave us uh, 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 a portion a portion of balance of knowing you know you know uh the rich and and being poor 
He put us in the middle. He made us content. You know? Because if he would have given us what we actually wanted, would we think about him? Absolutely not. So that's why the Lord gave us a, a roof over our heads. You know? You know, food to eat, clothes on our back. You know, running water, etc. You know? But if you give him weight, but if you give the nigger more than what he has, he's going to, he's going to, uh, destroy himself. He's, he's going to destroy himself according to, uh, what, Syrock 14 and 3? Which is not, not coming, coming for a nigger. Niggard, man. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, bro. And Esau knows that, man. That's why, you know, he wants you to be detached from your power. And the only way you're going to be detached is if you don't read these scriptures, man. And you don't take heed to the word. All right? This is the book of Matthew, chapter 16 and verse 26. For what is a man profited if he shall gain the whole world and lose his own soul? Or what shall a man give in exchange, in exchange for his soul? And this man, you know, sold out. So he gave his own life for what? The riches that he had, the, 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 the amount of fame. But he had it for a certain amount of time. And then his time was up. And now he's, he's dead, man. He's gone. All right? That, that's all that was for this man. And, and that's for all for you other celebrities out there, man. Y'all going to have it on a high. You're going to be on a high of, you know, um, fame and glory. And then you're going to be seen by all the people of your fans. You being put to death, man. And that's, that's how the story goes, man. Except you repent, you know, and seek your Yahweh Shemel Shai, which is what the prophets are doing, man. That's what we're doing, you know. And I actually got a, a precept on that. Hey, go ahead, King. This is the book of... Second Chronicles chapter 15 and verse 12, it says, And they entered into a covenant to seek Yahweh Shemel Shai, power of their fathers. So the covenant is agreement, all right? It says, with all their heart and with all their soul. So that's what it takes to serve Yahweh Shemel Shai, man, in truth and in sincerity. All right, verse 13 says, That whosoever would not seek Yahweh Shemel Shai, power of Israel, should be put to death, whether small or great, whether man or woman. So it don't matter if you're great in this society, man. If people claim that you're a legend or you're one of the best rappers, you know, you know, that doesn't matter. You still will be put to death if you don't seek Yahweh Shemel Shai because the Most High has no use for you. You so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. That's why the majority of our people in America is going to die. All right? It's a two-thirds of our people will die on this shores. And two-thirds is more than a half. Of that's, all people. That's right. So you're going to see a mass judgment on a large scale when y'all watch him outside and lease these spirits of vengeance, man. This is just, you know, one example for you to repent, man. Because, you know, through the terror of y'all watch him outside, we persuade men. Mm -hmm. So that's that's the, the job of a, a prophet, you know, to tell our people to repent for the kingdom of heaven is at hand, man. That's right. And that's good news. Mm -hmm. But it's not good news to you two-thirds that want Esau or Edom to be your ruler, man, and your king. All right? So with that, Yahweh brought us all. This was edifying. Call Allah. Yahweh brought us all. Yahweh brought us all. Until next time we say, Shalom. DTA. A Bible ball soon.